Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the solo experience. Me, Rita, a bit of research. I hope you're all well, guys. We are 78% on the balloon optimization here. It's going really, really well. I am going to ramp this up and uh, continue on. Now, once she's done with... I think I'm going to get her just to finish that completely, actually. And then what are we working on after? Electronics? We need to make sure we're queuing up what we want here. I would love to get that, but the five days is just... So long. Well, it's five day max, so we're looking at like four days probably, um, which is a big ask, I think. Um, not sure what I want to get afterwards. I don't think this is ever going to be necessary, the more I think about it. Electric smelting eventually would be good. I, these are the things we need to just wait, I think, and produce some of these because actually service bot, I definitely want. Uh, I'm going to take into account what you said about the bots, though. Um, and it will probably be a... Uh, harvest bot. I think the service bot's the one. Wh whichever one can do salvaging and things like that is going to be the uh, the play. I think. Um, she's removed that though, and she's now getting some power cells. So that is a big thing right now. And there's our first malfunction, which actually does cost an electric. Um, we do have it though. But yeah, I'm gonna let her do her thing and uh, kind of just do her own thing at the moment. She's on. Happiness should be okay once she's had a sleep as well. So she might even hit Euphoria as well. Um, with the power sales research, that does mean we're going to be able to get in... Uh, with the energy crystals, sorry. That does mean we'll be able to get into like power cells and things now as well. With that and EM Umbrella. So actually, that's probably a good one to get done first. It's three hours. So I think we'll let her... Once she's woken up, I'm going to say... Oh, can't do it. Can't get her to research just yet, which is weird. Oh, because we're out of power. The malfunction battery means we can't function at night. So as soon as she gets up, we'll say repair the battery then. That's probably it. But welcome yourselves back, guys. I really, really do appreciate you being here. You are awesome. Thank you for, obviously, everything you've uh, you've done on the channel so far. It is really, really appreciated. So yeah, I do thank you for that. Uh, let's go plant energy crystals, plant silicon leaf, and then let's go maybe some food. Uh, what do we want? Yep, some berries, and then research EM umbrellas, and that's going to be most of the day, pretty much done. Now, I've been thinking about it, and I don't think this is going to be the maximum size of the base anyway, although, no, nah, it will. We're going to fit everything here, actually. I think this just needs to move, um, and I think this is best placed, probably. A few things I want to move around early on to kind of get this going i think one of them being the battery there's no real reason for it to be in the middle there and i think this being moved over here actually makes more sense as well so i think we'll kind of just do that let her do her thing but she's going well let's have a look at some of her stats as well whilst we're going and i just want to uh, mention to you guys as well i think i want to give going medieval a go on the channel because it's very very much like this game um, everything is very, very similar from what I've seen. And it was on sale, in the Steam sale. So I thought, I'm going to give it a go, see how it is. And then if I like it, I will bring it to the channel as well as Malian Dawn. And obviously I'm going to revisit RimWorld again at some point. But we've got so much to do. I've got another couple of playthroughs I still want to do on this as well. So, lots to do. Right, there's the EM Umbrellas. So, with that in mind, we're going to set... One of the EM umbrellas to be crafted as well. And I think I'll get her to do that pretty early on, actually. Now she's handling things. I'm going to force her to do that next, actually. So it's 2 o'clock. Let's see, how long does an EM umbrella take to make? Six hours. So that's going to take her into bedtime, I think, by the time she's got that in anyway. Yeah, that's fine then. And uh, we'll probably take off the night vision goggles. And we'll remember when we get attacked to actually change them for once. I don't do that very often, so I do need to remember to keep on top of that and change it. I'm going to force her to sleep straight afterwards as well. So EM Umbrella done, then to sleep. It means we can get her out doing whatever, and we don't get the debuff for getting wet as well. And how are we looking here? So we've got 10 bush fruits. What are we looking like on food? There's only 20 of that, and we've only got 5 emergency rations. So let's harvest... Let's say, how many bush fruits can we get away with? Let's just do like four. There's the M umbrella, and then we'll obviously grab, I think, some heptagonia as well. We've got a little bit. I want a variety, so we'll probably just do something like that. 
Now, when she gets up, I'm going to force her to play darts, and then we're going to go eat some bush fruits, equip the um, umbrella, harvest those, and then harvest that one. Probably going to be half the day gone, and then straight back to... Oh, we can't do that until that kind of comes back on. I need this to recharge again, unfortunately. That is a, a little bit annoying, but... That should be okay, because we've got these spinning at four, so... We'll see where she's at. I don't know if it'll queue because I've clipped it off, but we'll see. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have issues with these two soon. Um, especially the helmet. That's on 62, so it's a little bit longer. So we definitely want to look at that. And laser pistol's only 52% as well. So I say only. That is more than enough. And to be fair, if we can get one turret up, we'll be absolutely fine anyway. And it's going to be a laser turret, potentially. It's 7am, she's already done the harvesting actually, and she's decided she wants to take a walk, which is nice. So I'm going to go into, get this balloon optimization done, and then we'll probably see what we can do. Peculiar crash site, it's a bit long. How long's our explores? They're not very long. I might go to that landing pod. Uh, fuel tanker is actually only two hours away, so that might be what we do. Makes sense to do that now, doesn't it? So if I send her, that should queue her up for after the research, which is fine. That means just to refuel this, then we'll be 15 instead of 30. Because 30 is a lot, actually. And we've got 132. Now we need, obviously, to keep 10 for each of these for one. Oh, she didn't even finish it. Right. We've got to change it because she didn't finish. That's unfortunate. I thought she was going to be able to, but that's okay. She's almost there. And a heat wave has struck now as well. So I should be able to send her to that one. As soon as she's finished this now. And it is doing it anyway. There we go. And there's the balloon optimization. So you'll see in this now, if you didn't know, that is now at 15. That's a pretty big one. All right. There we go. There's the scrap metal and some liquid fuel as well, which is good. And she discovered giant's grass. So that's a 50 fuel she's going to bring back for the cost of 15, which is actually fantastic. And she'll be back just in time to probably... She's already got the EM umbrella on. It's dark. She'll be back to do some electronics maybe for an hour might see what she decides to do we need to get this back up charging though that is a bit of a problem the heat wave isn't helping these are at four so i think that's okay for a minute got some more grain to harvest there everything else is all right now what i could do is get an extract of veggie oil i kind of want 50 on that actually we're going to start leveling her crafting and that is a really really simple way of getting some of the uh, oil in so i think when she gets up we'll force that one and then maybe let her eat syrup afterwards that should be good although actually no 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 that's fine i'll probably cancel that because she ate on the journey didn't she now why is that fuel up there okay cancelled on that there's the veggie oil straight away that didn't take long which is good um Let's make sure she's not eating that. She shouldn't be because we've got that turned off. That's fine. And now she's eaten. Let's play some darts. I want to get her happiness up. And then everything should be good. Disturb sleep. I think the drone disturbed her. But yeah, if uh, you're wondering on the building, all we have is... What the hell are you doing? All we have is a, a real box thing. But I'm actually going to put things on top. Naturally. If you do this, I'm pretty sure you can move these on top. Like so. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to have some room here. And I'll probably just move that one up there as well. And then if we go three or four up here, I'm going to get all of them kind of going on there. We might even bring the batteries inside. There'll be no real reason not to. I think that's probably for the best. And then we've got this whole front bit here to not worry about anything. So she's moving all those. And let's maybe get this moved over. Let's go a little bit closer. I probably want a cooker at some point. But it does mean we've cleared out this, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the drone for a minute. We're going to try and get this battery charged up a little bit more. I'm going to have to harvest a little bit of that. That's okay, though. And then maybe, maybe, yeah, handle that, then plant the green cob. Let's get that going again as well so we don't run out. We've got loads anyway. But um, with the, us mixing up fuel and things, probably for the best, isn't it? And then with that off, that does mean we can go get fuel mixing and stuff sorted as well. We definitely need these electronics, though. And I think I'm going to eventually queue up the turrets as well. So once she's done there, I'm going to get her to do a bit of research. 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Is there any coffee? I don't think... Limit reach. Where's my coffee? Oh, there it is. Let's get her to drink a coffee, then research. I know it's night time, but fine. We'll get her going for a little bit. I think we could potentially get her up to um, Euphoria once she's once she's good and slept. So I didn't even check the heat waves. So it's only eight degrees hotter as well. So nothing crazy for this uh, this kind of summer. I get so used to the harder difficulty that you realise the heat waves aren't that bad in normal. Personally, so we're still running out of electrics with that as well. Hmm. I could get one more wind turbine. Can we look into it potentially. I'd like. To I would like to have the drone on, but tell you what, let's copy one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll copy one more. We'll get that one built as well. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys, we have a Juno. Hmm. That's kind of scary. <laughs> god. Oh, God. I know it's only one, so we should be fine with her up in the tower. And I'm hoping the traps will stop it a little bit. It should it? problem is it does sprint straight through. And I'm pretty sure this flame turret will kill it anyway with it stuck on here, so. I don't know, we'll see. Where is it? That is. That is interesting. I know it's only one, but I wasn't expecting it just yet, which is interesting. Let's um let's actually turn that back on. I'm gonna get her to do that. She's in Euphoria as well, which has worked out really well. And hopefully I'll just load up the uh is what I'm thinking. Load up that. Get a drafted ready as well. I'm not taking any chances against this. There we go. Here he comes. Making his way over. Bring it on, big boy. He's already bleeding, actually. So, I think he's had a fight with something, and he's now bleeding. Which is good for us. If you get up to multiple of these with uh, Solo, I can imagine it's pretty damn scary. So, speed it up. Come on, Rita. Easy, easy pickings for you, this. Let's see, laser pistol doesn't do much to one of these, so we'll soon find out. Okay, he's already taken a bit of a beating, which is great for the bleed. The traps are missing, which isn't good. There you go, straight in. Look, flame turret should do the uh, deed, though. There we go. That was absolutely fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and butcher that, actually. Um, I'm going to get her to do that afterwards, because I think that gives normal meat. Yeah, that'll do, I think. And then let's go on, essentially this landing pod debris afterwards as well so that is a only a six hour total one we'll go on that one and then we'll get back to some research of electronics which is 10 percent oh she's managed to find ore which is pretty good actually that's not bad not bad forgot about that as well let's see what she gets all right so first aid kits antibiotics and scrap metal i actually am okay with her finding that finding meds med kits are good um, I know we have 41 anyway, so we might probably never going to need any more, but we're lucky enough to not actually be in a position where it's causing us any issues at the moment anyway to uh, to fight any of this, so that's fine. I'm kind of trying to visualize inside of this shape base where I'm going to put my, my uh, antenna. The landing pod can be like over here. I could put one, one antenna potentially here and then one over here. I want them to still try and force this way. So she's back pretty much in euphoria it's nine nine o'clock um we don't need to do any transporting i'm gonna let her sleep then she'll be euphoria let's see what we can get her to do when she wakes up so we'll let her have oh no she's well well fed so let's actually not do that i think i got bug meat from that big boy i've got 49 bug meat there that's okay uh i'll tell you what let's get the let's get this built then when she gets up as our first job and then i want this electronics to be done afterwards all right so that one now has been constructed then let's try and get this battery recharged again enough for the night time at least anyway i'll let her do her thing uh finish previous meal let's get the electronics done i think there's anything else it wants us uh, we've got a little bit of harvest i could go out here as well but i kind of want this done ready because once we have the ai core done for our service bot or the one that's going to do a lot of our stuff for us. Um, we're actually going to force her to do a lot of crafting. Um, so I think that's my plan anyway. So crafting is leveling up, which is good. But it's not enough. There's 25% there then. Let's have a look what we can do to bring her up. I think that will have to do then. Um, let's force a scavenge into some harvest here. Back into the research. I think that should be more than enough. 
This one's almost finished, I think. Yes. So, I'm hoping for some more electronics. Because if we get repairs, we're in a bit of a problem now. We've got three left. Uh, normal metal. Okay. Not great. Not great at all. Come and do your thing. You're not supposed to be transporting. Oh, if you didn't know, when they finish something like a scavenge, they will still do transporting, even if you have a deliver unticked. You can obviously force them to not do that. But... Go do some research. Right, battery is slowly charging now, so charges at 217. I think we're they're probably spinning a bit quicker now. Yeah, they are. So we're we get 60 out of these, so even at night time we should be absolutely fine there as well. So not concerned there at all. Alright, she's getting a bit hungry, so let's tell her to eat some syrup, then go back into the research. So we're on 40% now, we're about to ding 40% on the electronics, which is great. And we'll wait for a, an adequate one adequate time and send her to sleep as well i know some of you are saying why don't you just let her uh schedule kind of do her own thing um to be honest i think i'd just be sat here a bit bored if i didn't so that's why i'm uh, kind of manually doing things as well so yeah and a uh, question i'm holding shift and clicking to queue commands up as well so if you hold that that's how you queue items up now it doesn't work for changing clothing unfortunately which is a little bit strange but that's fine so I'm going to force her to repair that, and then we're going to do a full day of research. I'm going to finish these electronics, and hopefully we can get down into this then, because that's going to take us a long time to do. Um, but it is constructible. We can actually afford two right now, which is good. All right, up she gets. But yeah, if you're wondering, guys, as well, why I'm already getting a Juno attack, it's because I built this um, house. If we were still running off the scrap metal, these attacks would be still very, very small. Now, they aren't big by any means. One Juno is easily dealt with but you usually don't see them till late game later game i know we're almost halfway into year two now but it's fine but anyway here we go so 60 percent i feel like i want to queue something else up but i don't think it's necessary at the moment we're into the position now where everything costs a fair bit i think sensor devices could probably go before the turrets actually because we're not going to set up a turret before we've got that anyway. And that is a CPU itself as well. Hmm. So she's gone off to plant. Let's force the research again. And then I've just clicked on a little bit more heptagonia. Three more meals worth there as well. I know we've got the berries close here. But I've got some berries already done. And we don't need more than the 110 that we have there at all, do we? Let's be honest. Please don't. But she's just decided to change her mind. I actually just want to get this finished. She got 5% on it. And then you can probably... Let's have a look. What else does she need? Creature comforts. I like the floor covering this room. <laughs> we'll kind of leave her doing that. Let's go into fuel mixing. Now she's eaten. And then I'm going to go... Can we get that finished? don't think we can. I'm going to force her to bed now. There we go. And then... So day 20, what I'm going to do on the next one is I definitely want to get the fuel mixing done, but I'm going to say harvest those five heptagonia, and that's going to be more. The heptagonia under a roof, they did change this. I think under a roof it was in, in, indefinite before, but it is now two years, which is still ages, to be honest. But yeah, I definitely think it did need to go off some kind. I know sugar really kind of doesn't go off. All right, she's up then. Day 21 in the second year. Let's get this heptagonia done, and then we're going to go straight back into fuel mixing. Hopefully, Rosano will go pick up all that. And then I think we're going to go look at... I think, although we are due an attack at some point, we might be able to get away with an explore once fuel mixing is done. We'll see. We'll go on it anyway. I'm hoping we find... like If we can find an electronics deposit or CPU deposit, we are going to be... I think electronics would be better that's how we're going to be uh we're going to be laughing aren't we but hopefully we don't get attacked in this day that it's going to take to go here or 10 hours i'll just turn on these silicon plants to be harvested actually get rid of those as well and then that means we'll have a good amount just there all right there's the smoke leaf on the thing she's found as well which is nice that means she's almost there all right pray for me come on or a sleep training research or something we can like speed up. You get some of those that we might find. Carbon wind turbines or something. Fuel tank. Um, okay, go there immediately. So it looks like this 
Damn it. Such a waste of time on Solo. All right, so she, she got injured, unfortunately. It looks like she did find at least a fuel tank, though. And then it's time to potentially get... What I might do... Put the soldering bench. Would have liked to have put it there, actually. It makes more sense to kind of go there, though. Just so she can walk close to this. So we're going to build that there. I'll probably turn that off. If we have enough stored in the battery, then we'll be all right. And it is slowly going up. Maybe a second solar panel, but... Needs to hurry up and get back, though, so I can heal her. There's one way to uh, cause issues, isn't it? So there we go. She's back, so she will heal herself. And on the plus side, we're going to get this leveled up a little bit, aren't we? The healing of self is very, very slow. She's no longer bleeding, though, which is good. Now, that is going to be a problem to our... Um, what's it called? Torn off flesh treated. I don't know how long that's going to take to get rid of this pain here, which is a bit annoying. We get minus five there, but... And because of that, we're now screwing up her sleep. But this looks good. It's going to go all the way back up to Euphoria by the looks of it. So I'm going to get her straight on research when she's up. I'm not in a massive rush to build this anyway, purely because of this. So these are running at 20, right? Plus 48. I think the... Yeah, she's still got up at 6, so she's good. So we're okay with that. Right, I'm going to check the expedition where she did go. Okay, so it's only a one you can revisit. I'll probably be ignoring that one then. Um, that's a little bit far away. I think potentially another floor is a good idea, but that's another full day. Now we're kind of into that that kind of area. So, and she does have the EM umbrella, so I'm gonna. It's okay. I'm gonna go and tell her to do some harvesting, and then because that's a happiness boost, and then I'm gonna get her back on the research. I think when we come to do the electronics crafting and stuff, I'll always force her to have a coffee first. That extra 3% three, 3 is, yeah, I guess it's going to add up. I don't know how beneficial it'll be. And there we go. All that's harvested then. So we've got a good chunk of silicon now, which is used for crafting. So that's fine. Um, we're definitely going to need to get some electronics. What do we get again for the power cells? I think I need to keep them. Uh, where are my power cells? They're up there. So power cells to break down gives us electronics as well if we're desperate. But yeah, it's turrets next, which is quite painful. Nanotubes printing. See, this stuff, I want it. But until we've got the bots and that, we just can't really go into that. And there comes the solder bench as well. So I'm going to see... Right, there's the aggressives too. What are we working with? One huge, five small. So very small attack, actually. But yeah, with this on there, it's only 10 power, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to say till 10. And we'll just make sure she's crafting that when she gets kind of things to do. So we can really start to level up our crafting now, which is good. Probably shouldn't have her out scavenging at night, but... Yeah, that's okay. Get this up a little bit. Farming's like halfway to level 7 as well. I'm, I'm impressed by how well she's leveled, though. No, we haven't done a single bit of cooking yet, and we've managed to hit Euphoria a few times, so... Right, she is going to bed, which is good. So, a nice little nap before she has to fight. It would have been nice if the Olfen kicked in, actually, and uh, started fighting those. I'm going to draft her up then. Let's get her in. Speed it up. Here they come. She's not going to be able to shoot them until they get round, unfortunately. Oh, big boy's way up in front as well, which is good. Might be able to do some good damage to him then before he even gets a chance to come in, yeah. Ah, this is going to be probably one of the easier ones, so I may as well speed it up. Big boy's gone. Obviously, nighttime does not help at all. Look how much she's missing. Come on. Good job. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, drowsy then. Let's go sleep. I'm going to to sleep till maybe 8 a.m. I need to go back round and then back into what do we want to do. I want to level her crafting so as soon as that drowsy maybe is gone I might just put her into here. There we go she's now just hungry which is good so I'm going to force her to eat then do a bit of crafting. So each electronics craft is going to give us 900 xp which is crazy so it's not going to take us long to hit level 4 at all. Um, I don't like how our metal is taking so long to get from over here, actually. So this definitely needs to be a bit closer. Taking too long to run from there, isn't it? 
I don't know if that levels as she's doing it or whether it's one big chunk. I'm pretty sure it's one big chunk. We officially have the uh, the ability to get into all of the lighting and stuff. The bigger lights and that as well. Which is good. Um, we could get smoke leaf. That would help if we ever get put into pain, but I'm pretty sure it's gone. In a little pain. It's still there, so... Uh, painful scar now. That's annoying. So, actually then, because of the smoke leaf situ, I am going to go ahead and get a small patch in. Uh, potentially for some tea. I think that's a good idea, and I'm going to tell her to plant that right now and then go to bed. No. I clicked the wrong thing. I told her to turn off the turbine. We'll get her planting that as soon as she's done sleeping the bed. There we go. Already 11. So that should be all right. All right, upon wake then, we're going to eat some syrup. What do I want to do? I want to keep doing the research. Anxious, so I'm going to do food, play darts, research. I am tempted to keep scavenging, but as I say, once I get the robot, it should be all right. I'm going to take this now down to harvest until, because we've got too much. Oh. We'll make sure it's just until 150. So we've got a little bit of silicon in stock. There she goes. Right, I'm going to work her back up so she's she's loving life again. 10 power on the L cook stove. Do we want to go into that a little bit more? I think batteries sometimes with these spinning slow look, we're not in a good way. We do need to be careful on that front. Kind of makes sense to not have this on unless we're going to use it. <sighs> it's fine. If we, if we run into more power issues, I will do that. All right, wind's picked back up now, so we are good. The uh, um, right choice, not turning that off. Opportunity. Power cell research. What? I've dabbled in some advanced DIY and have a vague memory of how power cells are made. It should be possible to research them without a sample. With D... Power cell assembly with decreased research time. And you waited this long to tell. I didn't even know that was a thing. Have I had that before? Oh, look at that. It's like halved as well. You know what? That's pretty good. Because we will definitely need quite a few when we get on to crafting these guys, isn't it? Which ones is it? I don't think you can get the mech robots in this scenario, actually, which is a shame. Now, I was thinking as well, can you put wooden towers on top of a platform? One way to find out. So, if I select a move on this. Oh, you can. Very good. Alright, so if we want to build like a higher platform, then we could do that and put this up on it. And that makes it a lot harder for the bugs and stuff to get up as well. We don't put stairs on there. Hmm. Okay, that gives me some ideas for when I play next time with more characters, actually. Which is very, very cool. So she's kind of waking up. I'm going to leave her to do her thing. I think she's going to plant over there and then I'm going to force the research. She's not asking for food or anything at the moment. I'm going to leave all of that. I may... What am I on? He's hit Euphoria though, so yeah, actually, you know what? Whilst you're in Euphoria, do a bit of crafting, I think. Although her thingy's not good, but pretty sure that manipulation, yeah, crafting is affected by manipulation, so 25% increase on something that takes six hours is actually really, really good. So let's get another electronics done. Then maybe you can do a bit of research. I think that's fine. And she will hit level four. No, she won't. She'll be just shy. So two more of those, she's good. We could force a little bit of oil, maybe. And there it is. Beautiful. Oh, she did hit level four. Did I just bad math then? Who knows? We'll take it. We will take it. All right, she's getting hungry. So let's force a quick meal then. We're gonna eat some bush fruits, then go back to research. We are slowly getting through it. Look, there's 18% of the turrets already. They're, they're one of the longest researchers in the game. They are, in fact, actually the longest research in the game away from breakthroughs. So, five days. Yeah. What is it to make? Interesting. Just wondering what it is to make a laser sword. It's 10 carbon. They might not be a bad shout to have as a fallback. But I don't think we're ever going to get to a point where we're needing to worry about her melee. How's everything else? Combat's almost level 5. Shooting star. Let's get rid of that. Obviously, farming's good. Cooking, we will level eventually. It's not really too important anyway, though. 
faster we get these up, the better. 25% on the turrets, though. That is huge. And she did do favorite pastime as well. So we're going to keep close to this euphoria. Now, five electronics in the bag. I honestly think we just need to hammer out until we get this research done then. All right, a little bit of rain upon us. I'm going to queue up the research properly. I accidentally uh, clicked her, so I had to draft and undraft her to get her back to bed as well. Let's do that. So we're officially back in the autumn now. So it's zero degrees. It might not be the baddest idea. Cold tolerance above minus eight. I think for now she's okay, but to be fair, should we... 48% already. Small mantis and two overgrown scarabay. Okay. Not concerned about them. Let's see if we can get this to 30%. Oh, we are going to. Lovely. I might say this about a lot of the characters, you know, but actually, I'm thinking Rita is up there with one of the best. Kind of don't realize how good cheerful personality is, and then obviously being interested in farming is a huge thing, especially in normal playthrough and cooking. So, yeah, she could be like the perfect fullback to do everything. But yeah, 34% on the turrets, which is awesome. Let's get her drafted up and ready. Let's speed it up. Actually, don't even know where they're coming from. Behind us. Okay. No drama. So here they come, the big boys first. Should be easy pickings. Nice. Very, very nice. Good 2x. Can't see this one, unfortunately, but she should be able to kill everything else out before. Ooh. Nearly getting through, are we? Does seem to whiff her shots a fair bit, though. Although she's going to hit combat 5 soon. I think after she... Yeah, there we go. That should help. That definitely helps. And draft... Because uh, she's kind of doing too much here. Uh, let's draft her again now. And let's get this thing to get killed. Perfect. Nice and easy. Get those traps. New insect nest. These are so far away. Nope. I'm actually going to let her do this scavenge as well because it's almost done. And then when she gets back, let's go research. Scrap metal. The good, good news is obviously we are going to need that at some point. Just not good right now. Actually forcing that off her. She shouldn't be transporting. I'm hoping they fix that so they don't do delivery even but even after they finish scavenging. So I'd like to force scavenge and then just carry on scavenging rather than having to micromanage them. You know? Thinking about getting um, a new pair of thermal on the go as well. I think we'll do that. Now let's, because our other ones are pretty low, let's go into our wardrobe. Let's break those down we do get a little bit of leather so let's um let's do the dismantle and let's go to bed afterwards give us a little bit of resources again and then what i'll do when she gets up we'll, we'll force eating and then we'll play some darts and then we'll get our sewing of those on then the research perfect although i do need to get those traps sorted again as well don't i okay i'll leave her to do that afterwards uh, I've just noticed as well, her pain modifier has now gone, which is good. Took a few days, but that's perfect. We're not going to have to worry about that, and we'll get the little extra out of these. Rita, you're an absolute legend. And this should take her up to probably you four. You know what I need to do. I'm going to let her finish the darts. Before she goes to do that... Ah, she's already relaxed. Should have got a drink and coffee before crafting these. How long do they take? Eight hours. Holy crap. Is that the max time, though? Because she... Let me look. Yeah, manipulation speed isn't up either. Hmm. I'll have to do most part of the day. 37% on the turrets. Over those in stock. I'm just trying to visualize what we could do here. Now, if we wanted to go full synthetic, we actually could, and it wouldn't be so bad because we could get chemical cloth, but that... Four day to do that is could do that one. That's three days. Hmm. Not getting that much bug meat though, are we? I think it's for the best that we 
Uh, where did those trousers just go? I think he's already taken them, hasn't he? Let's get the thermals on. I know it's not that cold, but we'll keep the summers so they're good for the next one here. And we'll let her do the uh, trap handling. Right, what else have we got? We're looking good here. Let's say research. Yeah, that's good. You gone off to scavenge as well. All right, we'll let it happen. More scrap. Nothing that's going to be of use to us at all. But I appreciate it either way. Rita, come on. 6 p.m. Everything else is good. Let's get back to this. Get 40%. Crazy how long it takes just to get a turret up, isn't it? I think we'll need to decide what we're going to do with the platform too. I think um, I do kind of want to keep this, but I'm tempted. I'm just going to move that out of the way. And you know what? I'm going to force that right now. And then I'm going to let her potentially just eat some bush fruits. Then we'll send her to bed. But what I'm going to do is actually get flooring ready. Now, what have we got the most of here? I think just wood is fine. It cost us a fair bit. I don't know how big to make this. I want to be able to fit the tower on, and I think that takes a fair amount. So, we want it to be close enough to the flamethrower area. 135, 180. I kind of want her and the turret in range of this. So, that's going to cost us a fair bit. Let's get a few more trees, cut them. That's okay, though. We'll get all those cut down. And the plan is then to move this on top. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. We might need to go one more back, so I'm actually going to move this just out of the way a second. One more. But can you move that when you're done there, just so I can plan this out? Thank you. Gave us some more berries as well, and we'll go back one more like that. And then we'll get this moved up here. That is some serious thing right there. And then we'll get her to go and cut all of those down. And then we'll have all the wood we need for this one. I know it's not in line with this, but that's okay. That's kind of where it's just going to be for now. I'm thinking one turret just centrally on here. One laser turret. That'll deal with pretty much everything coming in. He says. We'll see. Come on, Riz. Go get it. Go get the wood. And we're good on power again now as well. So we can look at something else potentially. And I'm thinking maybe cooking stove. I don't know. We're going to need to cut down even more trees. And I think these are close up. Get those set. But that's enough to do the building. So Might get her to come and do that straight after. She's in euphoria anyway. So it's going to be nice and quick. She's going to be rapid with that coffee in her as well. Look at this. Absolutely wonderful. And more construction to level up right here as well, which is great. So, I'm going to keep all of this queued. Just while she is in a position of euphoria. For the best. And Riz is getting all the wood that we need. Right, I don't want you eating yet. I want you to do that first. Come here. Do that. Then you can eat. Sorry. Then you can move that. I think she's done it. She has. Right, perfect. We'll get her doing that. She's going to move the tower. Then we're all good. Um, and then once the tower's been moved, let's go back to research. And we're kind of prepping it ready. 41%. It's going to be cool. She's got serious height up there. So she should be able to shoot down on pretty much everything. Hoping. But yeah, back into U4. It didn't take long. She scored a 180, which helps massively. <laughs> Played darts plus 18 plus scoring 180 plus 18, which is crazy. But 45%, not bad at all. Let's send her to bed in just a second. I'll probably wait till 11 p.m. right there. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's send her off. And guys, just while she sleeps, that is going to be where we end this one out. So as always, smash that thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. If you want to support me extra, Patreon, membership, or YouTube channel. There are the ways you can do that. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed and you're understanding the design we're going for. As always... Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.